Hey guys, Drudder here. It's the 2nd of October, and I think this pumpkin's ripening up nicely. Should make a nice jack-o'-lantern at the end of the month. And out in my garden patch, tomatoes continue to ripen. I've been eating about uh, two or three of these a day, and I still have a big bowl of them inside. As you can see, the weather is still nice here in October. Uh, I don't know what we did or who we blew to get good weather this far all the way through the year, but um, really enjoying it. Those are the black prints there, and um, they're almost ready to start picking too. So, yeah, it's been a really good year out here in the garden, and uh, everything's just finishing up now. But um, looking forward to collecting my seeds, and yes, I will do a video on that when I collect my seeds and prepare them to be stored so I can plant them again in the spring. Now that is a big eagle. Wow. We're in my grandma's garden and I'm just finishing up my tomatoes. I just thought I would show you a couple more shots. Um, these are ones that are almost all fully ripe. Quite delicious. Got some of these. Some of these. I recently posted how it's now been proven that GMO corn causes cancer. Is awareness increasing? I recently started taking my kids to the pool about once a week and uh, to make a long story short, you know how they have in the change room those um, grates that the water drains into at the bottom and people lose their change in there all the time. Anyhow, my kids wanted to uh, get that change out of there so that we could use it in the vending machines and get some Reese's Pieces after our swimming. Anyhow, uh, we rigged up some um, magnets on the end of um, chopsticks because it would fit through the grate and we picked up a lot of quarters, loonies, toonies, we got quite a few dollars in there. Um, the funny thing is copper is not magnetic and we were a little bit sad when we realized and remembered that because we weren't able to get those pennies out of there. The old um, pre um, steel pennies back in the 90s and 80s and 70s and so on and so forth can't get those out of there, but uh, the new money or currency, I guess I should say, picks up nicely. If you're interested in what channels I'm watching actively right now, you can have a look under relevant channels right now. This is on my uh, channel page, obviously. Um, Wide Awake News, that's Krabby Dog Tricks, of course. Hi, Charlie. Um, Endless Mountain is my Canadian and silver charting connection. I watch him religiously. And Ben Swan, Reality Check, this is um, a guy based in the U.S. He's a very clean-cut, media-type guy. He's got his own show on, I think it's called Fox 16, and uh, it's all liberty-based, uh, exposing corruption in politics and that kind of thing. So, uh, really good channel. I watch these three channels very actively. These are the tomatoes I've pulled aside so far that I know I'm going to be uh, getting the seeds from. Uh, I have a lot more tomatoes than just these, but these are the ones that will be uh, getting planted again next year. I have these, I think they're like Sweet One Millions or Sweet One Hundreds. And these ones, they end up orange when they're fully ripe and they're quite tangy and, and delicious. So uh, we'll be definitely doing those ones as well as some other ones. I do have the moose, the antelope. Those are the two wildlife series coins I have on CanadianSilverBullion.com right now. And uh, of course maples and things like junk silver dollars. So if you're interested in any of those things in any quantity, check out my site. You can get one at a time on my site or you can email me for different quantities and that works out nicely. As a reminder for Canadian residents, I do accept Interac e-transfer. It's a instant um, method of transferring money from one Canadian bank account to another. It has very low or no fees, and it requires no no sign up of any kind, so it's really convenient and really easy to do, and uh, it keeps money out of PayPal's hands, which is always nice. I have a question: Does anyone have any interest in these? They're called proof-like sets. Um, Pre-1968 coin sets from Canada. Um, this is pure copper bullion. The nickel is. 99.9% .9 pure nickel bullion, and of course the 
silver is very nice condition, 80% um, silver. The dollar is worth about 20 bucks. Yeah, it's, everything's worth about 20 times face value uh, for the silver. And the 50 cent piece, of course, is silver. It's all 80% silver except for the 100% copper and 100% nickel. So it's kind of a win-win for anyone who's into, into metals. And usually you can get these for not very far over the spot price. So uh, if you're looking for something like that, let me know. I can get a hold of these. These ones happen to be mine. Screw off. But uh, yeah, I can get them. And I'm wondering if I should put them on my site. Um, you can see they'll fit into an envelope quite nicely. And uh, yeah, let me know if you're interested. And I will add them to my site if there's enough interest. I guess that's it for today. But I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye for now.